I was a young woman from southern Alabama. I had just gotten my first job at Walmart, and although very nervous, I was excited to join the working force. The first few days were dreadful. We did paperwork Monday and Tuesday, a safety course both Wednesday and Thursday, but the worst day of them all was Friday. It was the day we covered sexual harassment. My trainer the past few days had fallen ill and another employee was pulled off the cash register to help. The man entered the room. He had to have been 35 to 40 years of age, about 145, and he was bald aside from a patch of hair placed right in the middle of his head. He had large glasses and a Dorito stained snaggle tooth. Well, hello there. How are you doing this fine Friday? My name is Artemis Rogers. I said hi, told him my name and said I was just ready to get this over with. He laughed extremely hard as if I told a joke or something and told me to say no more. He went through the training book and realized we were going to go over sexual harassment and he became a little flustered. Is something wrong, I said. He regained his former demeanor and said, No. He looked at the book, flipped through the pages while mumbling to himself, then tossed the book aside. Reading Schmeeting, he said. I'm more of a hands-on kind of guy. He then raised his two Cheeto-covered hands and with his fingertips made a squeezing motion. Disgusted by his advance, I kicked him square in the penis. My brother is going to kick your ass, I said. He fell to the ground clenching his nuts and pleaded he was only going over the example in the book for sexual harassment. I felt horrible. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I helped him up and he forgave me, and said let's just move on. He again looked through the sexual harassment book, and then he said next it was my turn to sexually harass him. Say something sexual, something that would make me feel uncomfortable. I told him he had nice knees and hoped that would be good enough. But, it wasn't. He said, come on girl, it's just role playing. I just don't know what to say, I'm sorry, I replied. He told me it was okay and said he'd write down an example for me. His hands trembled as he wrote down whatever he was writing. Sweat began to form on his brow and After five minutes, he handed me a moist piece of paper. It was his third or fourth draft. Okay, go ahead now. Give it a shot, he said. I, without thinking, began to read. Hello, Tom. How's it going today? You know, Mary, I'm doing quite all right. How are you doing today? To be honest... I felt like being a total slut. I want to rip my titties out of my shirt and rub them in your face. There was three or four more paragraphs, but I had had enough. What is wrong with you, I screamed. I then slapped him across the face. He stood up, placed his hand on his cheek, and then went to the door and locked it. He then swallowed the key. Listen here, you bitch, he said. You're not leaving this goddamn training room until you apologize to me. That really hurt. I told him I didn't care and that he took advantage of the situation. I told him I was no whore and I wasn't going to be treated as such. He went over to his desk, 
poured himself a glass of water, took a little sip of it, and then threw the rest in my face. God damn it, Artemis, I said. He told me if I didn't apologize, it was going to get a whole lot worse. I told him I'd report him to a manager, and he said even if he had a spare key, he'd rather fuck a dead frog than let me out. I, with my phone behind my back, dialed 911, and I left it on. I knew as long as I didn't hang up, they would send help. You're a filthy slut, aren't you? Artemis said. Please, Artemis, just let me out. I have to go to the bathroom. He ignored me and kept yelling sexually driven insults towards me. His insults ranged from fat slut to dirty pig. He even called me a nasty stank whore. In the middle of his hate-filled rant, three police officers swarmed the room. Artemis Rogers with the sexual harassment book still in hand looked very confused. Drop the goddamn book, nerd. One of the policemen screamed. Is something wrong, Artemis said. I'm just going over the material. I said drop that fucking book, nerd. Confused as to what was going on, I opened my training book. And sure enough, everything he had said to me was in the book. Including the whole lock the door and swallow the key scenario. As well as the hands-on comment. Oh my god, I thought. Artemis dropped the book and began to cry. Please, he said. I'm sorry. This has to be a misunderstanding. The policeman had had enough. He said that's it. And gave Artemis a rock bottom through his desk. As if that wasn't gruesome enough, they picked him back up and gave him an F5. They were going to start the people's elbow until I intervened. I handed them the book, and after looking at it for a few moments, they looked back at Artemis and said, You're lucky this time, nerd. I ran over to Artemis, but it was too late. He left the room crying and I never saw him again. Apparently he put in his two weeks and never showed up to the rest of his shifts. I tried adding him on Facebook but sadly I was blocked. I feel awful but I moved on. However last week I received a letter in the mail from Artemis. And all it said was that he was coming for me. I don't know how he got my address, but I hope to God he's just bluffing.